All right, friends, welcome back to another video on building multipurpose Laravel and LiveWire application. And in this video, first of all, let me go to resources, views, layouts, and then app.blade.psv file. And over here, we have lots of different script tag headed, right? So in this video, I'm going to show you how we can convert these script tag into single script tag, right? And over here, we have these scripts tag, which are related to moment.js and British Pipe Picker and then Color Picker. Uh, and we just need those scripts included on our appointment create and then appointment upgrade page so we don't need these files included on our main layouts files so we'll arrange this as well and over here we have this javascript code and we will place them in proper place as well and finally we have this script tag related to sortable so we just need the sortable on our appointments index page so so we don't need this script tag to be included on our main layout file, so we'll be removing it as well. And finally, we'll be making this look more cleaner than this. So let's get started. Okay, so before we start, make sure you have Node.js and npm installed on your machine. So I have already installed that. So after installing, you can simply do Node version and npm version to verify that it got installed on your machine as well. So now let me go to package.json and over here we have this development dependencies and we just need laravel mix so i'll be removing this from here and finally let's do npm and then install and if it will install the dependencies okay okay it got installed and after doing installation you will be having node modules on your project directory over here we have this non modules and now let's install admin lte version 3 okay so for installing admin lte version 3 uh, we can simply do npm install admin lte and then a specific version so for that let me paste it and it got installed as well and it is our dependencies list over here as well okay fine so now let me go to resources, JS and then app.js and over here we are requiring bootstrap. It is not bootstrap CSS but we are requiring bootstrap.js on this file, ok. And on bootstrap.js let me remove everything from here for now and save this. And then now let me do npm and then run dev, ok. So for this we are using laravel mix. So if we go to webpack.mix.js, let me clean this up. And while we do npm run dev, we are compiling our app.js file and the compiled output is inside of public js and then app.js, which is inside of public js and then app.js. Okay. To show you, let me remove everything from here and then let me do npm run dev again. And we got the compiled version right now let me go to resources yes and then bootstrap.js and over here let's require jQuery so let's do try and then catch the exception and we can simply do require jQuery okay let me save this so instead of running npm run dev again and again to compile this, we can simply run npm run watch. So it will watch our changes, okay? Let me enter this. And it is compiled successfully, okay? Now let me go to app.blade.php. So let me command this line. And over here, let me use another script tag script and the source is js and then app.js okay we are giving the source to public js and then app.js where we have jquery as well right so i am commenting this line so now let me close this and let me refresh this page and let me open up the console and we have issue related to jquery right so 
To make this workable, let me go to bootstrap.js and let's make jQuery available on our window object. So we can simply do window dollar equals and similarly window dot jQuery. And now it is compiled automatically because we are using npm run watch and let me refresh the page and we don't see the error which is fine so similarly let's do the same for another one as well and now we can remove this let me hide this terminal let's do the same for this bootstrap bundle as well so let me copy this line and let me go to bootstrap js and over here let's require admin lt slash plugin slash bootstrap slash js and then bootstrap bundle dot main dot js and let me save this and it got compiled let me refresh the page and it is still working so it is fine so let me go to app.blade.php and let me remove this as well now let's require admin lt as well so now bootstrap.js let's require admin lt and on our app.blade.php let's remove this let's do the same for toaster as well so let me comment this bootstrap.js and then require admin lt slash plugins and then toaster and then toaster.main.js it is automatically compiled so let me refresh the page and we have this issue and it is saying toaster is not defined so let's make this available on our window object so window the toaster and if i refresh it again and the error is gone so now let me go to app.blade and then remove this as well now for this three script tab let me remove it from here because we just need these on our appointments create and update form so let me copy and then remove it and let me go to create appointment form and over here let me paste those okay let's indent it now let me refresh the space and let me go to add new appointment and we have this error related to date time picker right and it is saying that date time picker is not a function so let me view page source and if i go to the end and on the end we have this includes before this one right before these libraries so we are getting issue that the date picker is not a function right because we need to include this after this plugins okay so let's fix this as well so let me go to app.blade.psv file and on the end let me add another stack and let me give it a name called before live wire scripts okay and let me add another stack as well and let me give it a name called after live wire scripts so we can push to this stack right so let me go to create appointment form and on this create appointment form we are using a different components like time picker and then date picker so let me go to date picker dot and instead of pushing to the stack called yes let's push to the stack called before live wire scripts so let me go to time picker.blade.psp and let's do the same as well. So now if I refresh this, it will be below this, right? Here we are. So now if I refresh the page and that error is gone, which is fine. And this is still working, right? Now let me go back to our main layers file and let's clean this up as well and here we have different scripts so let's put this in our separate backend.js file okay so it will be more cleaner so let me do a script 
and the source is js and then backend.js so instead of putting directly to public js backend.js uh, we can take the advantage of laravel mix and then we can minify that as well so i will be putting that inside of resources js and then backend.js let me paste everything here and let me remove this script tag because we don't need this on our .js file let me remove this ok fine now let me go to webpack.mix.js and over here uh, we don't need post.css for now so let me remove this and let me do the same for backend JS as well. So we'll be compiling resources JS backend .js to public JS and then backend .js. Okay. So we need to run npm run once again because we modified our webpack .mix .js. So let me do npm run once again, and it will create a new file inside a public and then JS and then backend .js which is fine so now if i refresh the page and everything is working and there is no error on our console as well so let me go back to app.blade.php and it is already looking much more cleaner than before right so let me remove this as well and finally we just need this script on our appointments index page so i'll be moving to appointments index page so let me go to list appointments.blade.php and over here let me push and we need to push this after library scripts right so we have already created the stack so if i go to app.blade.php we have this stack called after library scripts so we can push to that stack let me do and push And let me do control Z and then copy this. Let me remove it from here and paste it over here. Now let me go to appointments and there is no error and this is still working, which is perfect. And finally, if I go to appointment edit page, we are getting error related to color picker is not a function, time picker is not a function, right? So we need to fix this as well so now if i go to update appointments form let me go to the end and we don't have those scripts right so first of all let me go to create appointment form and copy those script tag these three let me go to update appointment form and paste it over here as well so now if I refresh the page and that issue is also fixed but we are repeating this code on our both update appointments and then create appointment right so it will be better if we extract this into separate file so I'll be doing the same so let me copy everything from here and then let me remove it okay and let's create a new file inside of liveware admin appointments and over here let's create a new file and let me give it a name called appointment js.blade.psp okay let me paste it here and let me go to update appointment form and we can simply include liveware slash admin slash appointments slash appointment this and let me copy this and if i refresh this page it should not be getting any error and it is fine so let's do the same on our create appointment form as well so let me remove everything from here and let's include that file and let me refresh it let me go to appointments and add new appointment and everything is working perfectly fine and if i go to app.blade.php file and we successfully clean this up 
and this is looking much more cleaner than before and it is easy to scan our main app.blade.psp which is the main layouts file right so this much for this video i hope you learned something from this video and in the next video we'll be doing the same for css file as well so don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel as i'll be uploading the videos like this so till then have a great time and i will see you on the next one